I'm really worried about what's going to happen in this country if we don't sort of wake up. If we're not careful, we're going to wake up someday in this country and realize we are completely dependent on our food supply to a few but very large agribusinesses. The goal of the Farm Bill is to make sure that we have the most efficient, low-cost production agriculture uh, that we can have. In a sense, our current food system promotes eating junk food. It's quite an accomplishment that we've managed to uh, make ourselves so fat so fast in this country. The quality of our food is measured by how it will ship rather than how it tastes. The reason that Big Egg doesn't grow delicious food, that's not really their aim. Their aim is to make dollars. This is what happens when people aren't on the Agriculture Committee and get involved in this very complex area. Who would ever have guessed that the taste of vegetables would turn out to be the start of a revolution? Everything was local. The seasonality, the simplicity. I was simply looking for taste. There was an episode with eel that did not work. I impressed myself with that, I must say. There's a lot of forces out there trying to get us to change what we're doing. What's my favorite food? Uh, I don't want to say goat. <laughs> I think it's beyond just telling people to eat organic. Now it's about who's growing your food. This is how a strawberry is supposed to taste. Are they invested in the health of the community? This whole thing is spreading all over the country. I really want to buy everything that's local. Everything is fresh. There's a lot of people that can do a lot more. Her face. We got totally disconnected from passing on the art of growing food in the backyard. You can't just pull the rug out from under what we've been doing for the last hundred years. This is nasty. Social activism can be making a good meal. You go to your local supermarket, you go to your local restaurant, and don't be worried, demand the best. Good food should be a right and not a privilege. The subversive aspect is to introduce people to new things that they like. My name is Tim Castleman. I'm the founder of the Drive 55 Conservation Project and I live in Sacramento, California. You could try this. Go from 65 to 55. You'll be amazed at how many more miles per gallon you get. I mean, it's easy to apply, you know. It, what, do, what do you do? You just lower your speed and save money. It does all the work for you. I drive slow. I'm really aware of how much gas I use. I started this project right after 9-11, 2001. I saw kind of the connection between oil and terrorism and our military presence in the Middle East. I'm driving 55 miles an hour because I care about the environment and I care about better mileage, care about saving money. And so uh, I found drive55.org. I think it's going to save a lot of lives. People from all walks of life are getting involved in this movement. You think you're making a small difference, but you're actually making a really big difference. Everybody would just uh, get these bumper stickers like the hula hoop or the pet rock uh, and just make it a popular thing to do. It's hip. It's the cool thing to do. Naranga 
die you will be over here and see me <laughs>